name is Ron McCulloch, I'm a consultant podiatric surgeon and this uh, video is termed cryosurgery for Morton's neuroma, the brutal truth, a rather dramatic title so I guess I should just tell you some absolute key facts that just gets straight to the point. So the brutal truth is that cryosurgery is far, far, far less likely to cause you a complication like stump neuroma. In fact, I've never seen stump neuroma with cryosurgery than open surgery. So the brutal truth is that you are much more likely to have a complication and to be left in pain or have a problem with open surgery when compared to cryosurgery. Now the next brutal truth is that open surgery is more successful. Now that might seem like a contradiction, but the point is that a high percentage of patients, in my case probably the 90%, do well with open surgery. But that's not the point. The point here is that the 5-10% of patients who don't do well are often left with significant complications that can be extremely difficult to manage. And this is why I always recommend that techniques like cryosurgery are attempted first. And in fact, if cryosurgery is not successful, we would usually move on to radiofrequency with conservative care along the way, of course, always. But open surgery should be left as a last resort. Third point for the brutal truth of cryosurgery, it's not going to work on a neuroma that's over two centimeters, okay? Now that's very rare and we don't see neuromas that large uh, very often, but I do see them and I've operated on several in the last two years where I have seen a neuroma which has been so large that it hasn't really been suitable for cryosurgery and in those cases I don't bother. However, I've done specific videos on this and I urge you to perhaps review those because often the size of a Morton's neuroma when they're scanned is overstated and that's because the fluid around the nerve is measured as well as the neuroma itself. There are very very few neuromas that I see that actually are too big for cryosurgery. So please don't think that you are necessarily going to be one of them. You would be extremely unlikely to be one of them. But if you do have a very, very large neuroma, then there may be a chance that I will not recommend cryosurgery and it may be necessary to go straight to an open procedure. And just finally, the brutal truth with recovery is that you are going to find that recovery is going to be far quicker in terms of being able to get back to do your normal activities with cryosurgery and open surgery. With open surgery you're going to have a couple of weeks out where you will be mainly resting with your foot up doing very little and then gradually return to normal activity. Cryosurgery does take three months before we know the final results but in the meantime most people are able to get on with their lives and continue with the essential day-to-day -day tasks.